So it's an exciting time for uh, physicians caring for patients with connective tissue related interstitial lung disease. For a long time, most of the research was focused on idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis being the most common interstitial lung disease we have. But now a lot of this effort is now focused on patients with connective tissue related ILD. But in the last year, we've seen now that rheumatoid arthritis has a treatment trial, a phase two randomized treatment trial ongoing, looking at effective therapies for patients with rheumatoid associated interstitial lung disease. And even in scleroderma, we have exciting new trials looking at nintetinib in scleroderma related interstitial lung disease and SLS3. So I think we now are gonna see some, some ther effective therapies in these patients to help improve their longevity and quality of life. Patients with rheumatoid arthritis associated interstitial lung disease have never had a proven effective therapy, and this is a very prevalent disease. So 10% of patients with rheumatoid arthritis die of their lung disease. And we see interstitial lung disease in maybe 20 to 30%. And all the therapies we've been using thus far have been based on case series and anecdotal evidence. So we now have arranged the first prospective randomized controlled trial in these patients, the TRAIL trial, and we'll be looking at profenadone versus placebo in patients with RA-associated interstitial lung disease. This trial is in over 30 sites. It's in the UK, Canada, Australia, and the US. And in addition to looking at an effective therapy for rheumatoid arthritis associated interstitial lung disease, we will be collecting biospecimens. So we'll have biospecimens for future research. And most importantly, we're developing a research network, a network of expert sites that are interested in, in rheumatoid arthritis associated interstitial lung disease for future trials. So in general, we are seeing a lot of these uh, treatment trials in patients with, uh, with connective tissue related ILD. And these are utilizing some of the antifibrotics we've seen effective in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, but also some novel uh, therapies in these patients. And again, this is crucially important because we don't have good treatment options in pa for patients with rheumatoid arthritis ILD, myositis associated ILD. Scleroderma, we're, we're seeing some new trials with scleroderma and, and the, the most impressive thing is the scleroderma trial looking at nintetinib. They enrolled over 500 patients and it's a multinational trial. And we are now able to conduct these, these large trials in, in multiple countries effectively, uh, when in the past these were really difficult to do. And this is based on a lot of collaboration that we see, where, pay, where physician researchers are getting together at conferences and discussing this exciting research and coming together to find a cure for these diseases.